News Mississippi. Mississippi. For the first day of September, Tuesday, I'm Chris Davis. The audio that may have helped catch a killer. This happened in Itawamba County in Fulton last week at the home of Sharon Johnson. Sheriff's Department officials got there. She was dead, stabbed multiple times. They found Jimmy Carpenter in the woods behind the house. And yesterday, new information in court that he was apparently talking to himself when they found him. And what he said may have helped lead deputies to believe that he was the guy who did it. Now, more corroborating evidence, though, the sheriff says, came from audio from Sharon Johnson's home security system, which recorded the entire incident. No bail for Jimmy Carpenter. Possible strike from the folks who make your phone work, AT&T workers, and the local union in the Golden Triangle, they say they've been working without a contract for three weeks, and they're ready to pick it, even though they don't want to, possibly even outside the AT&T office in Columbus. They've already got a permit for that. Also, if uh, you want to see the Pope, he's not coming to Mississippi, but there's a way around it. You can travel to D.C., and see him on the Capitol grounds. That's if you get one of the 200 tickets that uh, Senator Roger Wicker has available by calling his office. You'd be standing actually outside watching the Pope's joint address to Congress on the Jumbotron. Also, maybe you can help solve a mystery in Hines County. An abandoned hardware store is where a skeleton was found. It's apparently a murder, a black woman, and it may have been done about six months ago. Today, the skeleton is at the state crime lab for an autopsy, but if you know anything about it, call Hines County deputies and let them know. News Mississippi Daily Digital for Tuesday, September 1st. I'm Chris Davis.